Hello students, are you preparing for AP Physics C Mechanics and um, not sure if you can score that perfect 5? Well, good news is it can be scored with some strategic preparation for the exam. And I'm here to tell you what are the things that you need to get a perfect 5 in AP Physics C Mechanics. It's not, I won't say, I won't be lying that it's easy, but it's perfectly possible with smart work and a little bit of hard work. That means practice. Well, let's come down to understand how you can make that happen. So, in this, you are going to take the exam if you are preparing for it in, uh, on, in May. That is May the 14th, 2025. That's Wednesday, 12 p.m. local time. That's the time for the exam. So, you don't have much time left to be precise because there are a lot of chapters to cover, a lot of types of questions to you know practice on and a lot of mistakes that you need to correct before you actually face the exam, right? So, in this, we are going to talk about the overall thing, the changes that has happened to AP Physics C Mechanics uh, for 2025. So, now you will be getting 40 MCQs multiple choice questions and only one option will be correct. Now, uh, the time is now 80 minutes, right? So, 40 MCQs and you have 80 minutes and uh, you have basically 2 minutes per question. Now, this is actually very tough like two minutes for i mean not every question will take two minutes but there would be some questions which would take more than two minutes sometimes five minutes will be stuck in the question right a lot of questions will be there where you will be stuck and you know you'll end up spending four minutes or five minutes and you might end up not being able to correctly answer the question so that's a concern keep that in mind i'll tell you how to overcome those issues now, you will have only four, four choices and there will be four FRQs. Understand, FRQs is, FRQ, the FRQ section is going to be for 100 minutes. So, you have four FRQs and you will have 100 minutes. That means, you will have how much? 25 minutes per question. Yeah. So, this is where you can actually relax a little bit. You have 25 minutes for question, but the questions will be hard. So, don't take it for granted that you have 25 minutes altogether. You can just eventually figure out things. No, there also you have to be strategic, right? But I'm telling you, you will still have more relaxation and a little bit more comfort in FRQs than in MCQs because MCQs will put you in a very tight spot. And the types of uh, questions apart from the previous types of questions which I will come to you have now additional four types of questions mathematical routine so basically simple formula based questions translation between representation so basically a situation will be given how you represent that right um, using scientific diagrams or expressions right sometimes a situation will be given to you and you will have to write a proper differential equation right yeah it's a calculus based course so you will have differentiation to deal with now experimental design analysis so basically you will be dealing with the data right so simple formula based these are all formula based and you will have basically inter uh, translation be between representation is where um, it's kind of like it deals with uh, derivation a little bit not long derivations, but they are inspired by derivation. Data analysis, that means you will be given a graph, you have to interpret the graph and find out uh, the value of a quantity or the rate at which, at, at which it is changing or something from the graph, right? Or you might actually would be given how a certain thing varies and you will have to draw a qualitative diagram, right? A qualitative graph for that particular question. Now, there is qualitative and quantitative translation. What is this part? 
qualitative or quantitative qualitative means when you ha don't have to be precise on the values on numerical values quantitative is when you have to be precise on the numerical values so translation essentially means you have a given set of uh, basically you have this is what i call is quantitative derivation right it's i will say quantitative derivation in my class i make a lot of practice on quantitative derivations that means you will be given how a put, how the uh, let's say how the force varies over time then you will have to figure out how the work varies over time right if the force varies over time then how the work varies over time or how the acceleration varies over time and then how the velocity varies over time all of that will be covered in this particular types of questions now uh, this these are not very important though i just pasted it basically you will have a full exam um, a session so all those uh, you know frq mcqs and frqs will be covered in just one session now it will no word be sharing if physics electricity and magnetism the say you won't be like the uh, college board is not going to put uh, mechanics and em in the same session that means you can take both the, both of them if you physics see mechanics as well as electromagnetism both you can take now <coughs> sorry here there is one important thing so i discussed the the four new types of uh, you know question that they are going to ask in 2025 they are not precisely very new but yeah they have actually defined exactly what kind of questions they are Right. but those questions that is there are a lot of other questions also i define them we'll come to the courses uh, the the topics or chapters but first you have there there would be simple simple calculations questions based on type i will say types of questions simple calculations right simple calculations means again once again formula based you can say and there would be questions relational or ratio based question that means if one quantity depends on the other and the previous quantity changes by certain amount then how would uh, the other quantity or dependent quantity will change and what value will it acquire right the relational ratio based questions now these are the most important uh, questions in mcqs right in mcqs there is one also definition based definition based and unit based also unit based means the physical units that we use so unit conversion types questions will be there definition based questions will be like very few in mcqs right uh, like um, they will ask what's the definition of this particular quantity you will have four options the problem is you will be getting confused in this like you know you will find multiple options you know um, uh, appealing to you right but since in ap physics c mcqs would have only one correct option so that's where you will be tested how well you know the definitions of of the terms right so that these are the four important types of questions in mcqs all of them are mcqs this all are mcqs that uh, that would be covered now apart from that i have already told you these are the four new types of questions uh, that they are bringing in 2025 um in frqs this is where actually your application skills will be tested your application skills will be tested on complex situations right heavy use of calculus this will be will be heavy use of differentiation and integration right so this frqs would test your use of calculus and 
especially and then one of the i say in faqs the one that actually appears very daunting are from oscillation and uh, rotation right rotation and oscillation these are the most daunting in faq so you have to prepare well especially in these two units because in faq as i've been seeing from my experience of over 5 years most of mostly the toughest questions come from rotation and oscillation right now these are the types of questions that will that, that you will be dealing with in uh, ap physics e mechanics 2025 now how do you what do you need for a perfect preparation that will that'll guarantee that you get a 5 so first of all uh yeah these are the other chapters you should learn and know in depth but that's true for almost every chapter isn't it so anyways what you need need for a perfect preparation you need look materials of course you need preparation materials like books sample papers and pyqs okay and then you need time to prepare you need a teacher this is the most essential part see in ap physics c it's calculus so you need a teacher who teaches you calculus as well as physics right that's very essential of a teacher so you need to find really a really good teacher who can not just teach you physics and calculus but also helps you teacher that helps you who helps you to understand the topics intuitively intuitively means you can like in your mind you should be able to connect with the topic as if it it becomes as familiar with you as if you are opening a tap or riding a bicycle right or opening up a toy to fix it so the things that you you are so proficient in your day to day life like that kind of comfort you should build with the topics that these topics that i have mentioned right these seven units that you have kinematics newton's laws of motion work energy power system of particles and linear momentum rotation oscillations gravitation you need to build right the the kind of proficiency just like you know the ones that the proficiency that you have in your day to day complex tasks that you can easily do because you understand things intuitively right so same sense of intuition must develop in you about the these seven topics only then you can have a guaranteed five in ap physics e mechanics and here is where i can help you so if you if you you know get to my classes of ap physics e mechanics you will not just be getting materials i can help you with the electronic format books sample papers pyqs i'll you will have to give me time yeah uh, whatever time is still remaining we will try to make the best use of that so you will basically have to share the burden a little bit as far as time is concerned but then i will also help you with guided practice sessions i'll help you with guided practice sessions that means i'll give you questions i'll present different questions depending on you know uh, what are your weak areas wherever you are the weakest i'll be asking the most questions from there i know that you will make mistakes and then i will teach you what's the correct way and then i will also help you with test mock test analysis i'll be conducting mock tests and i'll be doing analysis of those mock tests in front of you right we'll we'll sit together and we will discuss how well you have performed in those tests and 
whatever mistakes you have made in the test we will discuss that thoroughly point by point so these are the things which will help you to get a perfect five now how how do you know that what i teach is something that you like well for that uh, scroll the page down a little bit and you will find a demo lecture and from that you can know whether you know i can tune up with you for this preparation and we can work together for a perfect five okay. all right see you then scroll down watch the demo